Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the channel. As always, thanks for stopping by and hanging out for a few. Today, we have to talk about some bad things. Not everything works in autonomous drone flight all the time, and I've recently come across something that other people have been facing for a while. We're gonna talk about it today. The Mavic 2 Pro and Pix4D. Sometimes issues occur. Okay, so welcome back, and let's jump right into the topic today. So we've been talking about autonomous drone flight. We've been talking about doing construction progression reports. We've been talking about doing 3D models, and all of this stuff is really cool and a lot of fun. And if you play your cards right, it can be part of your own business. So, you know, there's a lot to go through and to learn, and, you know, the drone industry is still a very new one, so a lot of people are still finding their footing in this business and as i've been doing some of the autonomous drone flight work over the past couple weeks for this channel i came across something that bothered me and i pushed it off to the side and i said i'll deal with that later and this weekend i decided to deal with it so what am i talking about there are problems between pix 4d and some mavic 2 pros it's not a consistent set of problems not everyone's reporting these problems but also not everyone is doing 3D modeling. So this morning I decided to run a test with the data that I collected over this weekend with the images. And you've seen some of that in the last couple of episodes, my flights and my 3D models, and even layering 3D model information onto Google Earth, which is absolutely cool. But in some of my testing this weekend, I decided, hey, let's go ahead and use the Pix4D discovery again, and let's see what the modeling looks like there. Unfortunately, that didn't work out for me. I'm gonna turn over to this screen, and I'm on the Pix4D uh, community support. I've also been looking around uh, DJI's um, community information as well, and time and time again, I'm coming across this stuff. So we've got a person reporting that the GPS location of their photos should be here, not down here. So as you can see on Pix4D, and me personally, I'm using Pix4D Discovery, I haven't done the full license with them yet because uh, I don't have enough clients requiring this service, so spending over $3,000 a year is a bit much. But I decided, hey, let's go ahead and try out Pix4D Discovery this weekend and take those data points that I collected for the Google Earth uh, video that I showed you, uh, the previous video here. Sorry, stumbling over words. Um, uh, I had actually popped up a uh, Google Earth map and showed you how I could layer over that Google Earth map with a KML file generated by Agisoft's Metashape, which is really cool. And I said, let's, let's go ahead and play with Pix4D. And so this is somebody else's stuff. They're having issues. Flight was at this park, but the, uh, but the GPS location is far away. Well, that's reports from other people who are using a Mavic 2 Pro. And what about me? Well, let's go down here, and I actually have Pix4D Discovery put up. And this morning, I was going to do a quick little video about Pix4D and the Mavic 2 Pro. And look what I have. I've got something really weird. So I actually loaded the images from this weekend. And the images were actually shot. Let me click. The images were shot in this area. So the drone was flying in here. However, According to Pix4D's discovery, um, some of my images were shot way over here. This is a fairly good distance. Um, and a bunch of my images were shot here above the Bradshaw Mountain High School and over here as well. Um, no, no, this is not where they were shot. And, you know, I would think that there's something going on with my drone or with my GPS information or maybe I need to recalibrate, or something really funky is going on with the drone. And that's not the case. So the uh, drone might be recording some extra information, and that's the problematic thing. But throwing it into Metashape and um, throwing one of these models into Maps Made Easy, um, everything's where it's supposed to be. So this issue is cropping up with Pix4D and 
with Mavic 2 Pros only. So Phantom 4 Pros are fine. My original Mavic 1 is fine. None of these problems. But when we, um, when we throw this into Pix4D, so I thought maybe, hey, it's me using Pix4D Discovery and, you know, it's their free version and, you know, maybe there's something going on between that and, and my drone. But no, as I looked around over the weekend, I'm going to pull this back up and this is not the only thing. So Mavic 2 uh, incorrect geocode or geotag, excuse me, and um, any Pix4Ds, uh, any Pix4D users who have found an immediate workaround, uh, post it here. And the uh, so they're talking altitude issues and other things. So there's been a lot of feedback on this and a lot of people talking about the issues and um, coordinate conversion. And hey, bottom line for most of the people who are visiting this particular website, um, uh, my channel, you're probably new to 3D modeling. And some of the workarounds and some of the suggestions that are being offered up here um, aren't, aren't fantastic, and these have been seen for months. So people have posted some solutions that are outside of PIX4D's support, and they've posted solutions that are outside of DJI's um, forums as well. The bottom line is that this issue can crop up with Mavic 2 Pros and PIX4D. So if you're relying on a Mavic 2 Pro to do modeling with and you'd like to run it through PIX4D, my suggestion is you need to go through and read the forums first to see about the cameras not showing up in the right places. And so we've been seeing this. Uh, we've got another person here, Mavic 2 Pro EXIF issue as of March 21st, 2019. Um, we've got in Mavic Pilots, last one was in August. And um, so let's take a look here. And so the EXIF data shows the altitude uh, a bit over 115 million meters. Wow, we could get in trouble for flying that high for sure. So update, firmware long ago fixed the altitude problem, but the lat and longitude error in PIX4D persists for Mavic 2 and Mavic 2 Enterprise. So here's a link to a free tool that produces a corrected lat and long um, import for PIX4D. So, so there is a way and a workaround. However, um, having a way and a workaround isn't a, um, isn't a perfect solution for anybody. Now, if you're looking to do 3D modeling, uh, you're looking to do 2D modeling, you'd like to incorporate your Mavic 2 Pro, and you'd like to incorporate PIX4D, whatever flavor of PIX4D, having to do multiple workarounds for you know a piece of hardware that was pretty expensive and a piece of software that's incredibly expensive. I don't know about you, but I, I don't see myself wanting to do these workarounds and doing extra make work. Now, one of the things that I came away with over the weekend after seeing this crop up again, um, it's sporadic and I've had models on PIX4D where I have not had this problem. Now, using Metashape, and my Mavic 2 Pro, no problems at all. And if you didn't see yesterday's video, I'll put a link in the info cards up above for you um, because you can see that I actually layer a KML file over uh, Google Earth and it fits perfectly. So no issues with the GPS coordinates there. So there's something going on between some of the software or firmware in the Mavic 2 Pro and PIX4D together and that seems to be where the problems are cop, uh, cropping up. And like I said, I've done other models with PIX4D's uh, discovery mode that it hasn't moved those, um, it haven't, hasn't moved the cameras at all. So this is a really weird, inconsistent thing. And we do have some help out there. So uh, mavicpilots.com and incorrect EXIF GPS and elevation. Um, you can do a search on that if you'd like to see this correction method. So. This has been all over the net since the launch of, um, of the Mavic 2 Pro. And we knew there was a delay, you know, that everything wasn't ready for the Mavic 2 Pro and PIX4D initially, but they did bring them together, but we're still seeing problems. At least part of the drone pilot base out there is seeing problems. So 
you might want to look into that before you settle on a solution saying, hey, I want to use Pix4D in the Mavic 2 Pro. That's why they've got these test periods. That's why you can do the demo versions um, so that you can see that everything's working for you. But like I said, in the case of what I was doing this weekend, um, this sure as heck is not looking right to me. And um, <laughs> because the drone was not all over the greater Prescott Valley area. It was specifically flying in this area. Like I said, so uploading to Maps Made Easy, um, all of my cameras were in the right location and uh, running the same model with Agisoft's uh, MetaShape, no problems whatsoever either there. So I just wanted to give you a heads up about it. If you are a Mavic 2 Pro user and you are looking to get into um, 3D modeling and you want to use Pix4D, Go out, read the forums, see if there's any better solutions out there. I'm not going to go through all the Google pages. I spent a lot of time over the weekend going through the Google pages, and unfortunately the answers that I was uh, coming across were not positive answers. So, so yeah, if, uh, if you're looking to have that small Mavic 2 uh, profile to carry around with you and to do 3D models, uh, you might run into some problems with Pix4D. As of the recording of this, uh, this is April of 2019. And if, uh, if a more permanent solution comes up, I will tell you about it here uh, on the channel as well. But I wanted to share this one with you. And like I said, you know, we did not have this problem at all. I'm gonna go ahead and quit that Pix4D mapper and I'm gonna go down and grab Metashape really quick. And Metashape did a fine job putting it together and did not act as if the cameras were all over the place. So let's open that one really quick. And okay. Let's see, is that the right one? There we go. Sorry, I've got one that's on one external drive and one that's on another external drive. So here we go. So this did not have a problem putting any of the um, coordinates together. The cameras are not all over the place. So we're not having those types of problems. And let's see here, April 28th, no such file or directory. Seems like I moved a directory around, so I'm going to have to um, fix that. Oh yeah, I see what I did wrong here. So before we go, we'll just let you actually get a look at these. I relabeled a, um, a folder here and I forgot to update that. There we go. Now let's go ahead and try to open that one again. And there we go. So this one was actually, I think, let's see, 393 cameras here for this big one. And as you can see, the cameras are not all over the place. They're not somewhere out in space. They are right above the model area. So, and this model was made with the Mavic 2 Pro as well. So bottom line, this issue is between Mavic 2 Pros and Pix4D, but the data you collect with your Mavic 2 Pro and uh, the images you collect are usable in other packages. So, And for, for all I know, you're using Pix4D just fine with it. Because like I said, um, this is sporadic. And in some of my other smaller models that I've done, um, putting the images together in Pix4D's discovery uh, is perfectly fine. And it actually shows them where they're supposed to be. So very random and weird problem and I don't have any great solutions. If you've got some great solutions, please leave a comment below because the other folks subscribed here probably want to know as well. All right, everyone, as always, once again, thanks for hanging out for a bit. If you're new to this channel, go ahead and like and subscribe. We're going to continue putting out more videos like this. And here and there, we will work on improving the production quality, but more about information here than I am about flashy logos and things, if you haven't noticed. I hope this one was useful, and I hope you learned something, and I'll see you on the next episode. Have an awesome week.